welcome back to a new video in today's video i am going to be doing like a sort of like a recreation inspiration set um i saw that this, i put the set here it's by the lovely scarlet center and i did do three nails um inspired by that set originally on long stiletto tips but i'm actually going to put them on shorter tips today so i'm using nail Comey products today i've got dragon fruit and azalea to start with so the first nail we're going to do is an ombre um i don't i haven't done an ombre for a long time other than that stiletto nail that i done on this for this set if you know what i mean um so it was kind of like getting back into the swing of it um I'm, I like to do thin coats when I do ombres and because the dragon fruit gel polish is darker I put slightly less of that on the nail so can you see we've we've slightly covered more than half of the nail in azalea because it's lighter um that way if the azalea if the oh what am I trying to say <clears throat> when we when we blend it we might blend the dark color down a bit more do you see what I mean and it'll cover more of the nail so we don't yeah, I think I'm making sense, but I'm probably not. But hopefully you know what I mean. <laughs> not me, Nari. Um, so yeah, so I'm just using my... I've got this Born Pretty brush that is... It was really cheap. Um, but it's done... It's, it's actually my go-to ombre brush. I don't know that I've got another ombre brush, actually. Oh, I think I might have, but I don't like it. Yeah. Anyway, right. When you do that first layer, it doesn't have to be perfect, but get it as good as, as you can. And then you'll, you're going to find that you've got little, while well, you've been flicking the brush back with the forwards, you'll have like little dips in the gel polish. So I like to leave it for a few seconds just to settle before I pop it into the lamp and give it a full cure for 30 seconds. Now, can we gel polish is cure in a lamp for 30 seconds? So we're going to go in with the second coat now. Again, I've gone in with a thin layer. I don't want the gel polish to be too thick. If you put too much on, you'll find that you'll be... Uh, well, I find that I'll be blending for ages and I end up with my brush getting clogged with product and you have to wipe it off and then um, go back into the blend. And yeah, it just I just think it pays to do thin layers. Um, but yeah, once, once I'm happy, I'll leave it just to settle again and then I will pop it into the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. Okay, now we're going to use Raspberry Jam. Raspberry Jam and Dragon Fruit are not too dissimilar. Um, raspberry Jam is a little bit darker, which is why we're going to use Raspberry Jam to create the flower, the rose. I did get a little bit confused. Later on in the video, I'm like, is that Dragon Fruit or is that Raspberry Jam? <laughs> but if you put them together, they are they are different. But they're both... I, I couldn't decide which one to use, so I thought I'll just use them both because they're so nice. Right, to do this rose, it looks quite difficult. Right, when I first got into nail art, I was like, oh my god, that looks really difficult, but it looks so amazing. These are really easy. Um, to start with, you just put two little comma-type shapes in the centre of the rose, and then the petals that you do on the outside are just like crescent moon shapes or um, croissant shapes they're not it's when, once you kind of once you kind of get it it's it's you just get it it's easy um and then obviously as you work around the rose the petals are going to get bigger i left mine still quite thin they got bigger but they still look quite thin but you can make you can make them fat you can make fat petals you can make thin petals you just have a play around but i love i think i love doing these i think they're Excuse my nails, by the way. I had a moment where I picked them all off. It's not good. Um, so I must do them. So if Met Dan uses this video, um, people are going to say, Oh, look at the state of her nails. Oh, she should do her nails before she does others. Stuff like that. I get comments like that all the time on Met Dan. I just don't read them anymore. <laughs> What's that song? Hey, just going to hate, hate, hate. No, I don't know the words. I'll shut up now. Anyway, yeah, I don't care. Um... Life is too short to give a poop what other people think, unless they're your parents and close friends. And then even sometimes they're wrong. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Right, shut up now, let's get on with it. So as you um, go, right, no. The, net, the rose is gonna stop. Um, I want a little bit of gap between the side walls and the rose, because <clears throat> we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna outline the nail. And also we're going to put a little bit of, we're going to put some little sort of leafy, leafy leaves on this as well. So I think this is the, 
is this the last one i'm gonna do yes it is yeah so that's i'm gonna leave it like that and pop it in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds so for the rest of the nail i'm gonna use the artisan gel paint in white oh god i love these i just i can't tell you how much i love these um i'm gonna put a little tiny bit on my palette i have since dug out my i've got a palette with little dishes in and a lid it's a nail can be named palette um it's good because they have uh pump pump bottles now so you have to pump the product out you can't put it back in the bottle um but they do a palette with little dishes in or pans and um it's got a lid so you can pump it out close the lid and it's not going to cure and you can use it next time obviously um which is a really good idea so if you buy the artisan gel paints you do get if you buy the full set you get a palette and a an eight millimeter detailer brush but i would suggest um buying their little um their little the palette with the pans in um for these as well because it's, it's just it's just really handy and it saves waste and we don't i don't like waste i'm really funny about wasting stuff though sometimes i do do it but generally i don't like it so we're going to use the white art you can use the white salt stone gel polish to do this i just i just i'm glad i'm back using the artisans so i'm going to use the artisans <laughs> they're a bit thicker as well and well they are thicker because they're a gel paint and they're really nicely opaque colors so although white's not a color but you know what i mean okay once i've done that i will pop it into the lamp to cure for 60 seconds because the artisan gel paints they cure for 60 seconds then i'm going to use the green to create the leaves again you could use a gel polish to do this i i've, I've got a little bit out on my palette already that i'd used earlier on i can't remember what i used it for no i can't remember what i used it for but um so scarlet had done like little leafy bits and then she'd done like a little stalky bit notice my words are very technical very um professional leafy bit stalky bit <laughs> so can you see leafy bit and then that little thin stalky bit that kind of curls up around the side of the rose oh, i slept funny and my back hurts and it just oh god even breathing hurts me today Oh, I think I'm going to have to have a paracetamol. Right, that is it. I'm going to pop that in the lamp. I'm not even going to sugar it or anything on this one. The first one I sugared, and I think Scarlett had sugared the outside as well, but I'm just going to go in and velvet matte it. I love the velvet matte top coat. It is a really nice top coat, matte top coat. And also, um, when it comes out the net, when, when it comes out the nail, when it comes out the lamp, it's really, it actually feels velvety smooth. It's really nice. It's one of those top coats that once you've used, you can't stop stroking the nail. <laughs> There we go. That's the first nail done. Done and done. Right, on to the next one. To the sewers. I really love Secret Love for Pets. It's one of my favourite songs. Even though it's not a song, it's a film. What is up with me today? You can tell it's Friday. <sighs> right. This is... This one is... this. I'm pretty sure this is Dragon Fruit. This is Dragon Fruit. Two coats of this. I think this is the marbled nail, this one. Yes, I'm sure this is dragon fruit because I used azalea and raspberry jam, which is the lighter and the darker for the for the marble and salt stone. So look, we've got a bit of salt stone. Salt stone is the white one, dragon fruit and azalea. Oh, maybe I did use raspberry jam then. Oh, I forget my brain if it my head if it wasn't attached. Right, we're gonna do we're gonna put a little bit of these on the palette. If they do touch, just make sure before you put them back in the pot that you don't contaminate your colour. Um, my salt stone's nearly running out, so I'm going to have to get some salt stone at some point. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave them there for a minute. Right, now you need a blooming gel. If you don't have a blooming gel, you can use the base coat. A base coat will pretty much have... It will, it will do the same thing. Um, you, just, it just, you just want to help the colours marble and disperse a bit so base coat is fine if you don't have a blooming gel and then i'm going to use a dotting tool and just run my dotting tool through those colors don't do it too much because otherwise you'll mix it all together and it you won't yeah it won't look very good um i used way too much azalea <sighs> i did um right when you pick up the product pick it up with a flat brush or an ombre brush something like that and then when you put it onto the nail i think this is where some people go wrong you want to float it over don't brush it on float it over and then just let it do its thing just leave it to to move around 
even if you leave it for a few seconds and if you want to like now i could have gone in with a bit more white i could have put some white back on my palette and just put it back on i didn't i couldn't be bothered <laughs> but yeah don't brush it on because that's that's not the that's not how you do it okay and i think that's probably where some people go wrong um, and then I've cured it in the lamp for 30 seconds. If you've got a gloved finger, just press your finger up towards the side of the nail and pull it off. And that will pull off any excess product as well. Um, I, I think it was Scarlett actually that done that on the live. And I was like, oh my God, that's brilliant. And also it stops the nail getting bulky. Um, don't do it if you don't have a gloved finger because you don't want to touch uncured product with the naked skin. Even though I do it. But don't do it because you it can cause if you do it a lot it can start to cause reactions and stuff which you obviously don't want right this is dragon fruit yes it is i'm gonna do a full nail of this i can't remember what i'm doing on this oh i know what i'm doing on this now i know no 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 right two coats of dragon fruit i did cure that first one but i did skip as you see there was a bit of a jump in the video then that's because i skipped it pop that in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds and then we're going to go over with some matte top coat, velvet matte top coat. Oh, I've got the burps. I've just had my breakfast. I've been having a little bowl of crunchy nut cornflakes with a banana. Mm, and I really like that at the moment. My son doesn't like bananas, so he tells people he's allergic to them. <laughs> I should have done that when I was a kid. Right now, over the top of this, I'm going to put some lines. Because one of the nails Scarlet done was... Um, she, she done this she done this kind of thing so i'm going to use the azalea two lines of that i think maybe i'll do three in the end can't remember and then i'm going to just quickly clean my brush off on a wipe and then i've gone into the raspberry jam yeah look, raspberry jam is quite it is a lot darker actually i don't know why i'm saying they're quite similar because it is actually a lot darker um so one coat of uh, one coat one line between the two azalea lines they're not lines they're wiggly they're, well they are lines they're just wiggly lines aren't they god sort yourself out that's there we go and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to i want them to be embossed so i'm going to take i found this acrylic i didn't i couldn't remember what acrylic i had because i sold a lot of it because i do hard gel now um but this this one's called petal and it's got a little bit of a shimmer in it so I thought, oh, this might be quite nice to sugar with. So I thought I'd give it a go. Right, once you've sugared, just let the gel polish soak up the acrylic. And then if it starts to look shiny again, then you want to go back over with some acrylic. And only put it in the lamp once it looks completely matte. There we go. And then I'm going to cure it. And I do like to over cure it when I do this. And then I'm going to brush off the excess. Because it had a shimmer in it, the shimmer was like it was stuck on the on the top coat <laughs> i mean it does look quite nice but um i i did wipe it off with some gel cleanse um but it's still got a bit of a shimmer through those sugared colors i don't know if you saw it i done it too quick anyway the last is this the last now no this is the third no no, no yeah right, right right no this is the fourth now right on the last two nails they're just gonna be solid colors so this one was um what was it dragon fruit was it dragon fruit and then this one's look at the state of my bottle my salt stone bottle you can tell it's old um must get some more must get some more um yeah and the the, the last nail it's going to be white sweet because we put white through the marble i thought right we'll have a we'll, we'll pick out we'll have a white nail shall we so i've done two coats on each nail now i'm going to go over with my velvet matte top coat because this this set's going to be all matte then obviously I'm going to pop them into the lamp for 30 seconds for a full cure. I stopped then. Why did I stop? I don't know why. I think it's just me, right? Any matte top coats that I have, um, I start they start to cure a little bit at the top. <laughs> Maybe I don't do them off tight enough. Um, okay, so we're gonna add some crystals. Yay, crystals! So I've got Preciosa Fuchsia crystals here. These are the round flat backs in mixed sizes. They're beautiful. I have got Oh, a clear preciosa heart. These are lovely as well. You can get these in ABs. And I've also got some. This is the romance mix. I kind of liked the softer pink crystals in here. I thought they would break up the colour a little bit. Like you, we don't just want completely all fuchsia. Oops. 
I haven't wanted to get away. And I'm going to use the Crystal Totalist Gem Glue to secure the crystals to the nail. So I'm just going to keep this really simple. It's going to be like a heart necklace. So the Preciosa heart is going to go in the centre of the nail. I probably should have used a smidge more gem glue. Oh, my back really hurts. I need to find a good chair. Right, pop that in the lamp to cure. No, I don't think I cure that, actually. But if you are not very confident, then pop it in the lamp and give it a cure so it's not going to move around. Then, using my dotting tool, you can use a brush to do this. If you've got, like, a... I've got a brush uh, that I use for my gem glue as well. Um, but I'm just going to do it with my dotting tool. Um, I'm going to create... I'm going to put the glue where I want the gemstones to go. Gemstones, the, the crystals. And then I'm just going to pick out just randomly i wanted to mix the the lighter pink in with the fuchsia because the fuchsia is quite a dark pink and what i do on one side i'm going to repeat on the other oh i think i threw yeah that was a red i threw a red in as well there we go and then i think at the top i put a bigger crystal yeah, look, a nice big one to finish there. And then I'm going to pop some um, silver caviar beads in. So these are from Crystal Parade as well. If you want to get 5% off any Crystal Parade crystals, you can do so. Use my code NET5. They do have 10% off at the moment. Crystal 10, I think, is the code. So between these crystals, I'm going to put some caviar beads. It's just going to... if you, you, don't, you don't have to put these on. Um, I just feel like it fills the design out. It fills it, fills it, uh, what's the word? Bulks it out a bit. Is that right? Bulks it out a bit. I don't know. It kind of just finishes it off. I'm going to finish that off and then, there we go. That's it done. Yay! Oh, the Crystal Totalist Gem Glue. Crystal Totalist Gem Glue cures for 60 seconds. <laughs> there we go. That's the finished set. I hope you like them. Um, if you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. I'll leave Nelkami's website in the description box below. They also have a Facebook group, FYI. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Have an amazing weekend. And I'll see you beautiful lot with another video on Monday. Yes, on Monday. Okay, love you all. Bye.